and welcome to today's uh, journey which is coming to you from uh, Lower Silesia in Poland and we are traveling um, from Wrocław towards Katowice uh, which is a journey of just over 200 kilometers and uh, here's, here's Anya and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, roads in Poland are pretty good uh, to be quite honest because um, uh, they used to be awful but for the, in the last 15 years or so they've come to a very high standard indeed the standard is much better than what one may expect oh, I'll get, I'll get. oh so you couldn't see you couldn't see him what he was doing but uh, he, he was driving far too fast and uh, so we don't want people like that driving camper vans or motorhomes. So um, I'll point it out the window because I think this is a bit more interesting. And uh, so um, we were staying at Camp For You, which is in many of the videos uh, that I do. I'll point out also that a, a continuous white line means no overtaking. And um, so at uh, nearby, um, uh, the camp for you We've got these um, this place called Sheknitsa. So camp for you is actually to the road to, to our right, which which can't be seen at the moment. But uh, this is, is a place Sheknitsa in those two chimneys which we've got over there. That is Sheknitsa. This is part of the uh, ring road around Wrocław, which was built around. Uh, well, I don't know. About it's new anyway, I don't quite know when it was built, but you can see um, we've got the, on the left we've got a bike uh, area and we, there was nothing here before and so this really has taken a lot of traffic um, off, the, uh, the, off the other roads and there's also a motorway which we're now heading towards and uh, so we went into the centre of town because the centre of town, uh, to where the, that's where all the action is on a Sunday afternoon. So, um, right, so what I'm now going to do is I'll, I'll, I'll bring, I'll, I'll introduce you back to Anya, who will say something about um, what she's doing. We're go going to a Katowice to the um, a campsite, which is now with uh, Ukrainian people there. So, Anya, what are you going to do in Katowice? Yeah, I'm actually staying in the uh, camping uh, 215 at the moment over there. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of like the only uh, camper van at the moment. But uh, all the other buildings are taken by the Ukrainian woman with their children. Mm -hmm. So because I want to help them somehow, the idea is to, um, to cook together. Uh, in my camper van and uh, and then I can sell it in the office because I'm because I'm working remotely but sometimes I'm, I go to Katowice to work uh, from the office and there's lots of people who are actually like interested to to try Ukrainian cuisine and to support them somehow so we're gonna I, I, I'm gonna gather them and we're gonna cook some uh, some uh, Ukrainian dishes uh, in the in the camper van so and then we can we can sell it uh, I sell it later in my office and in the whole building actually because there's lots of offices over there and uh, and yeah because you know just to make them do something because they're a little bit uh, you know they're taking care of their children and of course it's like really absorbing and they have to be really strong and and uh, and constantly um, you know how like you know because the kids of course they don't understand what's 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 happening so so they are, um, and obviously, even though like they are coming from the, from the house, like you know, in Ukraine, maybe they had some uh, um, normal jobs, etc. They got some money, but the the currency there, like the currency, they don't even know like if the houses are still there or not. And uh, the currency there, it's like uh, obviously it's 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 really low at the moment to exchange it. So they need some money just to you know like to. To survive in general, but uh, I have to say that there's uh, lots of lots of people in Poland that they're um, they are supporting. So it's like in this all this uh, negative war that is happening at the moment, all, all this all this uh, these crazy things. 
there is lots of uh, people with the, with the good heart that are actually like really uh, supporting Ukrainian people. So this is something which uh, which is giving like you know hope and uh, and they are really excited to to do something you know just to put their hands somewhere. Of course, like their their men are you know in the war and they. They don't know what's gonna be tomorrow, but uh, at the moment they have to leave somehow. So just to take their heads like some, somewhere, somewhere else, you know, like they can cook or like you know just, uh, for example, also do nails. I actually had uh, this um, this set for doing the uh, like a manicure. Manicure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I gave to one of them just because she's she's actually like. Uh, uh, she's doing manicure for like uh, as, as as a job uh, back in Ukraine. So now she's uh, she's doing that in Poland as well, and it makes them a little bit like you know to take their heads somewhere over the the situation that it's it's, uh, it's happening at the moment in Ukraine for sure. Yeah, so. it, it it helps give them back their dignity exactly, as well. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, uh, um, that they they they're doing something. So. You will buy the all the ingredients, the, the, yeah. yeah, the ingredients, the yes. raw materials, and then they'll put it together. Yes, yes, and yeah. I think it's going to be also fun because uh, to cook together in the in the in the van, you know. So, so for them it will be something different as well. So, um, yeah, and uh, I'm also like selling some 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 stuff uh, um, that I like, you know, all the money that I'm getting for it, I'm, I'm giving uh, to the to the Ukrainian woman. Here in Poland and also to support the army. So today, like for example, today we were in the in the um, in the city center and there was this lady that she was selling this. Uh, I don't know badge. how you call it. Yes. Badge in English. Yes, exactly. So and they were supporting, like they were um, collecting money for the um, f for the army in, in Ukraine, back in Ukraine. I mean, to be honest, sometimes I'm feeling like this is not something that I want to support. But on the other hand, like they they have to. Um, they have to do it because because they are bombarding, you know. Like I don't want to like support the war in general, but on the other hand, we need to support the Ukrainian men to, you know, uh, to, exactly. to continue to, the to fight. To continue the fight but because yeah. yeah, it's it's not that we're supporting the war. We we are against the war. Exactly, we're against the war, so we need to. And uh, yeah. um, we're supporting we're supporting peace by giving them the means to actually fight back that's true that's true and that's true. Um, this, this i think is, is something which is very very important for us it's something we should uh, um we, we we need to do we didn't start this war the fascists did and exactly. uh, we're just defending people it's actually just one person that started so that's yeah the, that's one the, one yeah. one person well the second world war was effectively started by one person as well but the same ideology. So, uh, so that's what we're doing now, and we're so now going towards the uh, the motorway, yeah. which you can see down there. There's the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's the route towards it. And uh, so th this it's uh, very typical of a, a road here, actually, in Poland, um, and not just Poland, very in various other countries as well. You can see at both sides you've got a ditch. And this road is raised, which is very dangerous. And I don't know why they actually done it. This is something which is not really useful because it was supposed to be, you know, like for if there is a, uh, like rain, it's really rainy and there's a float. But it's it, I never seen water inside it, it. So and it's it's dangerous because when you when you drive the when you drive it, you can actually just bump end up into in the ditch. it. Yes, end up. And instead of like just you know drive through like you know the the flat. Uh, flat road like you mm -hmm. just end up in the ditch so yeah. it's it's something I heard that they, they're thinking to, to change actually mm -hmm. because I don't know if as you say like you're traveling from there like around Europe and, mm -hmm. and that's so you don't see it in other but here they don't see it in other countries but here there's a particular problem with them um, the water the grounds often waterlogged so that it's a diff the amount of water in the in the land is is different so I can understand why you, would, you, you get it more here than in other places. Particularly here, we had a flood here, of course, uh, in 90, 1997. So, uh, what's it? Uh, 25 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might happen, like, of course, it's, it's preventing from it. But to be honest, like, 
it's actually making more uh, lots of It's it's quite dangerous for the drivers in, in other hand. Oh like yeah, in sure. In some places, particularly when there's some ice. places we need it. Yeah. But in other hand, like in in other place, like because it's it's. Oh oh oh. 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 It's everywhere actually. <laughs> it's everywhere actually. So it's a bit. Uh, oh. It's a bit. It's not needed everywhere where it where it is. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So this is a, a sort of a, okay, this is, a, I think it's part of Szechnica where we are now, but uh, sort of a village. Uh, you, know, you know Poland better than I. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, I've traveled quite a lot. <laughs> yes, yes, it's, uh, it's interesting uh, to listen to you, like, because you're actually like telling me where to go and <laughs> where to drive, so it's, it's fun. But here's something, we've got these trees alongside the road and I don't really like this because in time the trees destroy the road. In fact, even here in this road you can see the little bits of damage they're doing to it. And the, um, but sometimes you can see the trees are being planted, which in my opinion, if the trees are there, leave them there. But if they're not there, don't plant, plant them somewhere else. I think it's it's not when you drive and you've got the the, the sunlight coming on you and you've got this uh, um, changing of the light. Um, it's, it, it, first of all, it's not good for the eyes, and the second thing is um, I think it's dangerous. So I, I don't think trees should be planted beside the road. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But this is something which they are going uh, out of it to not to plant it anymore. Yeah. That's true. I saw in uh, Sochachev, which is near Warsaw, when they built the ring road around Sochachev and they put trees, uh, saplings. Are you just now? Like oh, no, no, this is, this is, no, this is uh, 20 years ago, okay. <laughs> 20, 20 yeah, years plus to, ago. They used to do it, they used yeah. to do it, that's true. that's true. So you've got a wonderful sunset over there, it's, uh, and so it's now about what, uh, uh, oh, it's about quarter to six on the 20th of March, 2022. First, uh, first day of the spring. It is, yes. <laughs> so why don't uh, maybe you'd like to say something about your van because you built the van by yourself. Uh, we won't do a tour now, but you can talk about it. Sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, I actually because uh, I'm a I'm a traveler, so like mm -hmm. I I love to travel, and that's mm -hmm. that's my like. Um, this is my way of living, like traveling. I, I just love to do it. And when the when the COVID happened, um, when the COVID happened, it was uh, I had to like I thought I thought I need some kind of like uh, my place because it was uh, it was uncertain, you know. Like when COVID happens, like we didn't know what's gonna what's gonna be next. Like uh, uh, we couldn't plan anything. We couldn't like uh, uh, everything was uncertain. So, and I had a like need of, like a feeling of sense of home, mm -hmm. but I didn't know where it's gonna be. So, this is when the idea of the camper van happened. I actually, I was always like, you know, really big fan of it. Like, and my friend had it, so I, I went, for example, I just have to check the, the road. Uh, I think it's left here. Yes, it's yes. yeah. So my friend, uh, he built his camper van himself as well. And he took me to Andalusia mm -hmm. for a week. And, oh, uh, that's a long way to go for a week. Yeah, no, just for a week. Like I just I came to Sevilla, and, okay. uh, and he t he picked me up from the airport, and then we, we were going like by car mm -hmm. uh, around Sevilla, uh, around Andalusia. So and I really liked this way of traveling because I was always like uh, when I was a child we were going for example we were sleeping under the tents or like uh, uh, also my aunt she had a camper van so I already liked that kind of way of way of traveling but uh, I never thought of like myself doing it I was always like you know joining someone or like you know being part of it or like and of course watching but I didn't think of uh, of doing it myself yet in that time and uh, and yeah when the COVID happened then then the idea uh, 
this idea came to me uh, that I want my camper van, like my own place that I will be feeling this is my home and uh, and it's and you know like you can take all your stuff with you and like I'm doing um, I, I love to do sports like cycling and uh, and diving, scuba diving and uh, climbing so I always had this problem that when I was traveling I I couldn't take all the stuff with me because you know like it's, it's heavy you have to take a backpack and all this uh, all this equipment uh, and it's you know it's difficult to take with you everywhere you know like when you when you are just backpacking so so yeah the idea of of, of, of building a camper van uh, came to me and uh, I quit my job back in uh, back in Malta in that time because I was living in Malta. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, again, my phone. Phone's yeah, phone, I need to, there's, there's few stuff that I need to work on <laughs> in this camper van still because I forgot about, for example, a phone holder. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I, started, I, I actually quit a job and I came back to home, to my hometown with my, uh, with my parents. Uh, I got, I found this car, it took me like a few weeks, of course, because I was, uh, um, I was checking other cars, like you know, going. It wasn't easy to. It wasn't that easy to buy because the, uh, that kind of that kind of uh, um, cars, like that one, it was it was getting really popular for the for the you know um, doing your own camper vans. So 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 it was getting popular, and the, those cars were quite difficult to find. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, I want this kind of car, like. Uh, like Citroen Jumper or Ducato, but uh, bigger version or Mercedes Sprinter, do I was checking? Uh, but then I couldn't find the the, the the right car, and this car came to me like uh, suddenly, and I think I and it's 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 a, it's a small car because it's a um, uh, long one and high one. You say like L1, yeah. L1, how? Yep. L1, H1. Yeah. So it's the smallest version, but in other hand, it's just for me it's because I'm traveling most of the time by myself, and uh, I can, you know, I can go into every parking, and not everybody can recognize that I'm actually a camper van. So it's it's quite handy in in that way. So when I saw it, I just fall in love from the first love and uh, from the first from the first sight. That's what mm -hmm. you say. Yeah. 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 So it was a love from the first sight, and um, and yeah, I got it, and I start uh, I start building it. It's it's kind of my project. I mean, it is my project, but I didn't build it myself. It's a it's a um, it's actually few people were involved, like my father, my especially uh, a father of my friend, but he's he's doing the food trucks, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but everybody, everything was done in my in my in my hometown. So like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this person was uh, he, uh, like uh, was making all this like you know this uh, the shelves and and etc. The other person was doing like uh, the, the the floor. Uh, my friend Pavel was helping me a lot with with uh, different things. So so yeah, it's 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 a it's a job of like you know many people were involved in this project. Mm -hmm. But then I was a kind of. Uh, project manager of, of, mm -hmm. of, of that and uh, uh, and it took it took actually only three months so it wasn't that it wasn't that uh, as that long um, and yeah my, my my car it has a, a plate with uh, with a number of uh, 45516 mm -hmm. and together it's 21 so it's mm -hmm. uh, it's a blackjack okay yeah. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm calling him uh, Jack Jack, so, yes, Jack, yes, the, yes. Jack the van. Jack the van, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, I have another day, another, another name, because when uh, uh, one of the first days that I was like just uh, and there was nothing inside it, but one of the first days I was uh, I was planning the, how everything was going to look like, and I opened all the doors. Mm -hmm. So the front doors were open, and I just looked from the uh, from the front on it. Mm -hmm. And it uh, was um, reminding me of like a uh, mouse, so yeah. it, it just it just came to me that I I called started calling him Mesher, which is in Polish like like really mouse. sweet, yeah, yeah. yeah, in a really sweet. It's a mouse, but in a really sweet way. So mm -hmm. so yeah, it's uh, 
it's uh, it's my it's my measure, it's my jug. That's how mm -hmm. I call him. Yes. And uh, I'm, I have to say that it's since it's a really small car, I I didn't plan to have a shower inside it. I mm -hmm. just have a, a like outdoor shower. And my first plan was to um, to actually stay most of the time in the like uh, hot countries, you know, like. Uh, mm -hmm. My plan was to go to Croatia, especially um, to Dalmatia, because mm -hmm. uh, I never been there, and that was my that was my always dream uh, to go to Dalmatia and to travel also back to Greece, because I used to live there, and uh, and yeah, that was the, that was the first plan. But then, actually, it just happened that I decided to stay in Poland um, due to like still the situation and. and also, um, I don't know. I just, I just love to spend time with my with my family actually, and I, I, I haven't done it for ten years because I was living abroad. So I decided to stay for a little bit longer in, in Poland, mm -hmm. and uh, and I wasn't expecting that during the winter I'll be doing the the, the winter van life, but but I'm doing it. <laughs> No, tomorrow is the first of the of the spring, but uh, yeah. in general I'm doing a, I was doing a, a, a winter van life without a shower in a really small car, but uh, but yeah, you can you can do it if you want to, you can do it. I can see you, you always have like you know um, gyms to 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 use and and there is always like really nice Bravo. people to that they are offering you a place to, know, to shower. Or like to do your laundry mm -hmm. when you're traveling like you always find people uh, nice people you know like that they have uh, uh, they open their hearts like so so and I didn't have a, actually a good opinion about Polish people at the beginning because I thought they are very close and uh, I think to their straight right level level yeah straight straight ahead yeah, yeah. And yet, so at the beginning, I felt like okay, my family and my friends are, are super cool, and I love them. But in general, Polish people are a little bit, uh, you know, they are um, they keep you on distance. They are not that open-minded in many in many ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I start traveling with the camper van, I I find out that like of course there's different people everywhere as, as everywhere but like when you're traveling you find the right people on your on your on your way and they're just coming to you so so yeah I actually I'm, I'm surprised but I really love uh, traveling through Poland and there's lots of places that I'm discovering and uh, I'm surprised about about how, how beautiful it is here um, like for example my 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 favorite place, same as your, your salon, I think. It's, uh, it's Kashube, right? Yeah, Kashube next to Gdansk. Next yeah. to Gdansk, yeah. It's, uh, I'm, I, love, I, love, uh, I love water in general. I love the sea and I love the lakes. Uh, I'm just a person that in the summer I'm spending most of the time in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. so, so I think Kashube is one of the best uh, places to, to be in Poland and also Masure. Yeah, Mazurian lakes. Yes, yeah. Mazure. I, I never been in Mazure, that's the funniest thing. That I never been in Mazure, but I heard a lot and this is uh, something which I want to I want to do um, this uh, this summer as well. Yeah. Partly I will stay in uh, in Kashobe and the other part I will, I will be in in Mazure too. So at the moment we are more the more, more like in the uh, southern part of, of Poland. Which is also quite surprising because Katowice it's it's known as an industrial city, right? Yeah. And I I went there and, and then there is like you know there is a park that they are actually comparing to the park in the uh, in the central park in, in I mean to the central park in New York. So and then there is a beautiful park also in the city center. Like there is lots of surprises here that uh, and uh, and. As we see now, like with this uh, situation with Ukraine, people here, even though the opinion it's it's quite strong, that and it's it's because of the because of the, our history that we are very close and uh, you know on distance with everything. There's lots of uh, 
there's lots of like uh, secrets inside the families because of the war as well mm -hmm. because people are hiding their feelings and uh, what they went through like so the 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 population here i mean like the polish people are i i never am like i i, pref I, I always preferred the Mediterranean people because they were like you know open and very very honest and i felt like um, I, i'm getting like really strong relations with them from the beginning but now i'm seeing here in poland especially now with the situation in the with the war in in ukraine how people are actually they open their hearts so much so much and uh, today we were going we were walking i think the window is open yeah i think the window's yeah. open as well so we'll finish We'll, we'll actually finish here because I'm going to have to close the... I, I noticed the window was open. Yeah, yeah. So thanks to everybody for watching. And yeah. we'll continue this in a different video a bit later. <laughs> so thanks for being here. And uh, bye for now. <laughs>